Larry Jackson, Ketchikan, Alaska News. I'm here in downtown Ketchikan on Mission Street where uh, the owner of 422 Mission just received a conditional use permit so his new tenant, Baleen Brewery, can install and put in a brewery. And the uh, plans are to have a brewery on the lower floor in the basement and a serving room on the upper uh, ground floor or street level. So. In a matter of years, Ketchikan went from no breweries to uh, two breweries and a distillery all within a two block area here in downtown Ketchikan. So today we're gonna go meet the owner of Baleen Brewery and see what his plans are. Well, good morning, I'm uh, Larry Jackson, Ketchikan, Alaska News. I'm here with Alex. Alex McGillivray, how you doing? With uh, Baleen Brewery, we're in a top secret location somewhere <laughs> north of the town of Ketchikan. Very and he's going to tell us a little bit about his business and some of the plans that are coming up. Here recently you guys just got approved by the Ketchikan Planning Commission for, yes. for the uh, conditional use permit. For the, yep, to move, to, to move the, whole, the whole operation downtown city center and it'll be a really good thing, a great experience for not only me and the tourists, but Ketchikan itself. So uh, how long have you been doing this, Alex? This operation is one year old here. But I've been brewing since 1992. Hobby brewing, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. a hobby, and now it's now it's, a, it's still a hobby. Now well, paid for it. we'll show some of the the brewery a little bit here, but tell me about how much do you have approximately invested in all this equipment? Oh, with the equipment, not, yeah. not including the building. No, not the building, oh. just the equipment, the brewing oh, equipment. About, mm, right around hundred thousand. Yeah, about hundred thousand dollars or so. Yeah, substantially and that's more. Once I moved, once because I'm buying bigger equipment, right. right? Make more beer, and so I spend more money for more beer. Yeah. It's okay. So what prompted your move from your kind of top secret location here on oh, Mizzen was, Lane? <laughs> <laughs> that was always that was always part of the plan. Oh, I, had a, I had a one year. I'm on track. I'm on. My, I'm tracking along just like I wanted to. I told myself I'll come down here, um, brew on my top secret location on Mizzen, and uh, and in one year I'll move downtown, and I'm. Pretty much on track. Are you just yourself? Do you have anybody else that helps you? Uh, other I mean, partners? I am. I'm alone. Use it. Go ahead. Oh, um, so this this is the milled malt. It's already. It's, this is crushed. All right. I'll add the uh, the malt, the crushed malt, and hot water. And these brakes spin. So I have those spinning. Constantly. That kind of is that. That's what causes the. Uh, Fermentation, you get it? No. Well, it takes the starches uh, that, are in the, that are in the malts already and it turns them into sugars. Okay. Fermentable sugars. Yeah, okay. Mostly fermentable. From the mash tun into the boil kettle, then it boils for one hour with hop additions along the way. Uh, and those hop additions are scheduled. Green burner? Yeah. Green burner. And that's a big cost, probably part of what it could be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Water's cheap, propane's not. Well, yeah. How much volume would you say? That's seven yeah, barrels. Bar seven barrels. Barrel is how many gallons? 31. So 210 gallons, 200 gallons. Yeah, probably yeah, 200. So and then once it's out of there, you put it into a keg or? Yeah, then it goes into the, in the keg. And this is a kegging machine. Oh, here's a kegging machine. So, uh, Alex, tell yes. us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? How long have you been at Ketchikan? Detroit. Born in 1966 and got out of Detroit in 1998. I got here as soon as I could. First stop was Ketchikan. <laughs> what, bro, what? What's your profession? What I'm, a I'm a registered nurse. I've been okay. doing that since 1990, okay. and uh, that's that profession has fueled my love of beer. Right. And it's uh, caused you to start drinking. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> and tell us about your location. It's on Mission, I understand. I yes, it's. Uh, what I was told, because I was, this happened before I got here, it was uh, the Bon Marche, and the brewery's going into the basement of what I understand it was the children's clothing section, and uh, so that's where the uh, that's where the operation is going to be going into. And it's nice, it's cool down there. Who's the owner, current owner of that building? Do you remember his Andy name? Andy Cummings had bought it. Okay. Yeah. So there is. It's all done. Uh, my next step now is to just I've shortlisted a few manufacturers of the brewing equipment. Um, I just got some emails from them today. I'm going to review them and then within the next couple of weeks make my decision and put half down, the equipment's constructed, then I pay for the rest and they get shipped. And what is the timeline? What do you hope to have that equipment set up and, and, and be actively brewing? Well, now, now that I got the go ahead from the city, on the 31st, the uh, AMCO, the alcohol folks up north, will grant me my. Uh, alcohol license and then I then I'm on my way. 
how much, what's, what's the capital investment for something like this? Just general numbers to buy the equipment, put in a tasting bar, your time included if you were to pay yourself? Oh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, 200, 300, 400, three, half a million? Probably, I would, I don't, I don't think 250,000. So What's the volume you'll be able? To, obviously, you got same. small kettles here. How will you be able to produce, say, a week or a month down downtown? Well, <laughs> so I'll be buying a seven barrel brew house, two more seven barrel fermenters, and all the odds and ends that go with that. So um, I can increase production. And then, like I said, do, what ta what's the timeline? You hope to be I online be, by? I should be fired up by August. Mm -hmm. So if uh, people want to taste your beer now, never ha uh, tasted it, where would they find it? Uh, you can go to the Asylum, the Creek Street Cabaret has it, and also the Moose Lodge. All right. Hey, well, I'd like to thank uh, Alex for uh, talking today, <laughs> and uh, good luck to you in your new adventure. Well, thank you. Thank Is you. it adventure or venture? It should be yeah, both. It, yeah, it's both. <laughs> right. Thanks, Alex. No problem, guys. Oops.